diaspora located in downtown San Francisco in Museum Row. Uh, currently at the museum, uh, Grace is um, presenting with the staff here a fabulous exhibition of Romare Bearden, um, 80 plus prints. Um, and she's going to share with us information about this exhibition, why it's important at this, this particular time. But first I'd like to ask Grace, what is the mission statement? What is the purpose of MOAD? MOAD's well, mission is to showcase the history, the art, and the cultural richness that resulted from the dispersal of Africans throughout the world. And we wanted to clarify by stating what the diaspora is in our mission statement, because it is a question that we are frequently asked relative to the Jewish diaspora, what is the African diaspora? What we focus on is not just the history of slavery, um, we also look at post-slavery, and we look at post-transatlantic slave trade, let's put it that way, it's qualified more specifically. <coughs> But our focus is on um, both historical, modern, and contemporary. By that I mean we are looking at the full spectrum of both the traditions and the practices and beliefs that were brought with those who were enslaved into the new world, but also the new forms that have emerged through <coughs> syncretism and adaptation and transformation here in the new world, um, and this includes wherever the diaspora currently lives. That is in Europe, in Asia, the diaspora lives in the Caribbean. It's a geographic and a cultural phenomenon that continues today in Brazil, in Cuba, in Colombia. There are Afro-Colombians. There are Indians who uh, are Africans. Yes. And so our focus is to ensure that that complex story of the diaspora is presented here through our exhibitions, our public programs, and our education programs. So our goal is to entertain, to educate, to enrich, to enlighten, and to generate curiosity um, and really to provide information that we think will um, enhance and deepen uh, the knowledge and appreciation of what African Americans and people of African descent has contributed to world culture. And this is uh, perhaps something that uh, many may not be familiar with this term of a diaspora um, and that it, it extends beyond the United States, that, that, that Africans were dispersed uh, beyond the borders of the U.S. Oh, absolutely. I mean, in the United States, it's not surprising that we focus on our history. But there are complex other histories. Um, there, are, there are multiple slave trades that can be discussed over a historical time frame. There's the Dutch slave trade. You know, there's the outcome of all of that in Suriname and different parts of the world, in the Netherlands even. Right. And so we, we know that there is a much more complex story. Um, we are grounded here in, in associating our programs and so on with the community in which we live. But even in San Francisco, where the museum is based, it's a global society, it's a global community. And we have many people here, we want to engage everyone. So when we talk about um, Moet as the bridge that um, brings us together, where we can talk about uh, our common heritage, we all uh, started in Africa, as we know scientifically. Right. Um, and we disperse throughout the world, and as a result now, we can bring people together around this concept of a shared humanity and a common ancestry. And that's a part of our focus at moment. Very good. 